Oh hi guys, Hamid Benesha here for Andrew.ca. Comme d'habitude, un petit bonjour à nos amis uh, francophones du Québec. Today, I'm going to talk to you about um, replacing a battery for MacBook Air model A1466. And that's uh, the same uh, procedure from, uh, for the MacBook uh, Air from the year 2010 to 2017. Okay, so it's exactly the same procedure. It doesn't require any special training. It's not difficult at all. So we're going to go step by step. So. How do you know you need a new battery? Well, first of all, you can click here. Oh, it, the first thing you can notice is that the battery no longer charges. Like in this case, you see the icon is, uh, is black. And if I click on it, on the battery, it will tell me here, replace now. So if you get the error message, replace now, what happened now, if I remove the charger, the MacBook will die immediately, okay? Because there is no room left for the battery. Uh, normally, this is how it works, you will get a uh, an error first it will get service battery or service soon okay and then it will move on to replace now once you get replaced now the battery is completely dead so what we're gonna do we're gonna replace the battery okay so it's fairly easy like I said uh, so let's get, get started so I'm just gonna shut down the MacBook properly and if you got this error message here as a piece of advice is that you shouldn't wait you should replace the battery as soon as you can the reason why is because if you you can still use it with a charger but if you keep on accidentally uh, remove the charger like this every time well eventually you will corrupt your operating system and the machine won't boot anymore it will get stuck at the bar okay i've seen many many times so it will load and will get stuck at the bar so you don't want that to happen now corrupt your operating system replace the battery okay so i'm just gonna um if you wonder where you can find the, uh, the model number of your macbook it's always always on the same spot at the bottom of the case on the first line here the model number is always on the first line okay and this model is model a1466 so i'm just going to remove the book, the, book um, the back cover then i'm going to show you where you find the model number on the battery and how to replace this one so i'm just going to remove the back cover okay so the back cover is removed now we have to look uh, over here that's where you can find your model number okay so let me bring it a little bit closer to you Let's see if we can find it uh, fairly quick okay so this is the model you need to replace the model you need to buy model a1496 so this model once you receive it you can replace it so i'm going to show you how you replace it as i said it's fairly easy so the first thing you want to do always is you remove the back cover you want to unplug the battery okay so reason why because if there is still uh, power left in the battery let's say it was working you could you could create problems with the with the logic board because let's say if you accidentally drop your your uh, screwdriver and the machine is plugged in you could actually short something so always remove the, the battery as soon as you remove the back cover immediately remove the battery okay so now this is as i said it doesn't require any training at all it's fairly easy straightforward there's five screws over here okay so we're going to remove them Model A1466, this uh, MacBook Air, it's a really, really good model. It has absolutely zero problem. Uh, I've been fixing MacBooks for a very long time. Th those machines are very, very well built. They never had any issues. Uh, it's a very, so if you have one and you want to keep it, it's a very good idea. Okay, so I'm going to remove the battery. This battery is dead. Okay, I'm going to recycle it properly, send it to recycling. I'm going to get a brand new battery okay so there you go brand new battery okay exactly the same okay so straightforward over here put the screws back okay again five screws so the last thing you want to do is always put the, the make sure everything is good then you can plug in the battery okay so the battery is the last thing you want to do so plug in the battery okay i'm going to put the back cover i'm just going to put a couple of screws just to test it make sure it's working okay so make sure nothing, nothing touches the board so i'm just going to put temporarily put two screws if it's good i'm going to put the rest of the screws okay and i will try it now, if you're located anywhere in Canada and if you have a MacBook issue, 
uh, visit undoit.c any any problem of any kind liquid damage battery screen um, anything at all no backlight no power no charging whatever visit undoit.c there's a whole bunch of videos there and uh, if you need help you can or you can uh, request a label you can request a quote just undoit.c so let's see if it turns on by battery So this is model, uh, I believe 2013. So it takes a bit longer to, uh, for the first time to turn on. Usually the fan will go three times. There you go, so it's turning on now. So perfect, so it detected the battery. That's good news. Okay, now does it charge? We're gonna try it in a minute. I'm gonna show this a brand new battery and uh, there's no problem with the, with the board. So it shouldn't be an issue at all. Okay, so over here it shows it says 94 percent okay we're gonna plug it in see if it charges okay so the max safe has turned orange so it's means it's charging should take a few a few more seconds and it should turn white there you go now the icon is white so it means it's charging the error message is gone if i click here on uh, about this Mac system report and if you go to power over here okay so there you go cycle count one which means it's a brand new battery full, full charge capacity uh, 7618 it's a very good quality battery nobody they're usually around 6000 this is a really really good quality because it's over 6000 condition normal okay the condition before was uh, replace battery okay so now it's condition normal so everything is good um if for some reason okay if for some reason you put in a brand new battery and the condition hasn't changed so what you can do when you turn on the computer with the macbook okay so you will shut it down okay let me show you because sometimes it happens sometimes it doesn't clear okay so just shut it down completely and now look at the the charge the charging light okay so when you do you do control option shift okay you hold those and you press the power button it's gonna turn to green say so turn to green now it's gonna go back to orange okay so that will clear what that will clear you know but, um if there is any power issues it will clear it and then what you want to do you want to do an, an smc reset okay you're gonna you want to reset the smc so you're gonna you're gonna pu push option command you are gonna press the power button and then PR for power reset. Okay, PR. The MacBook is gonna reboot. Is, did you hear the chime? It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna reboot. When you hear the chime, you can let go. Normally, I should be able to let go now, but just in case I missed it. There you go. Now let go. Okay. So that will clear up the error. The error, if in case, just in case, it doesn't happen often, but just in case, I've seen it before. That you, even though it's a brand new battery and you st and it still show uh, replace now, okay. Normally, after you do that, it will go back to normal, okay. We'll see cycle one or two, but it will go back or zero, or and it will go back to normal, okay. So again, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and um, I do I will do a video for each different uh, battery. Uh, there is a, of, of different MacBooks. So this was for MacBook Air model A1466. If you visit uh, Android.ca and you click at the top where it says uh, YouTube and you do search under the search and if you have different battery model, you can, you can, you can type it there. I should, you should be able to find it. Again, uh, thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are located anywhere in Canada and if you have a MacBook with liquid damage on it and if it no longer works or if you have a MacBook with a broken LCD, a MacBook with a GPU problem, a MacBook that stopped working all by itself and no longer powers up, a MacBook that does not charge, a MacBook with no backlight or a black screen, a MacBook with a USB-C, USB, HDMI ports not working, a MacBook that requires a new trackpad or new keyboard, a MacBook with a flashing folder, whatever it is, you name it, we can undo it. The shipping is free for almost repeat no matter where you are located in Canada so make sure to visit undoit.ca if you have a MacBook problem. I hope to see you soon in the next video. Thank you for watching.